What's up, boys and girls? This is Jason, Zombie Collector, and do another on-card autograph of a Hall of Famer. This one is a TTM success I got again a couple years ago from none other than Don Sutton. That's right. Now, um, the kind of cool thing about this is a lot of times Don Sutton has been known to autograph through the mail whenever he does. Uh, he'll sign over across his face. A lot of times, or he charges money, and as you can see on both of these cards I sent him, uh, he didn't obviously sign across his face, and I did not send him any money. I was very surprised. I did not know that when I sent off to him, or else I might not have sent to him, so that kind of goes back to, it's good to kind of be ignorant more than usual for me, um, that I did not know that ahead of time. So it was really cool to get this card, these cards back. I sent him a, a TTM. Again, that's a through the, through the mail request for an autograph. I sent him, I believe, a handful of cards. I'll, I always have said in the past, you know, feel free to keep a couple. If you don't mind, sign me one or two. Always, you know, talk about their careers. Try to ask them questions they don't normally get asked. Uh, I, don't, I don't think he responded back in a letter, but he did send these back. It was a pretty quick turnaround, if I do remember. But it was a, pretty awesome because, like I said, I've heard that he is not the best about signing through the mail uh, in the past. Now, that might have changed. I might have just got lucky. He might have had his Ovaltine in the morning or his prune juice, and he was, like, feeling, you know, good about the day. So I'm not for sure, but I am very, very happy with the outcome for Mr. Don Sutton. So let me read a little bit about Mr. Don Sutton as you just glance at these cards. Uh, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1998. Uh, with 81% of the vote, the Dodgers uh, have retired his number. He was number 20. Uh, he's also in the Braves Hall of Fame. He's a four-time All-Star. Uh, he had a, He's ranked seventh in strikeouts, with the strikeouts being 3,574 strikeouts. He's ranked seventh, so that's good. Um, so this is kind of a cool little tidbit of info. His first year was 1966. He was in a rotation that included Don Drysdale and, wait for it, Sandy Koufax. So can you imagine your first year as a rookie pitcher being in a rotation that included Drysdale and Koufax? That is pretty cool for school. So that is pretty awesome. Um, let's keep going. Uh, some of the little oddball things I picked up what learned a little bit about him was he was a celebrity panelist on the game show uh, Match Game from 76 to 81. And if you uh, remember that, I it's a generation above me. Um, I think I remember seeing uh, reruns of it on like Game Show Network. But uh, Match Game, so he was a panelist on that. Uh, he was, he's been a commentator for years on lots of different programs. But in, two, in particular was with the Dodgers and also with the Atlanta Braves. Um, so this is a very interesting one as well. He recorded the most at-bats ever by a uh, MLB player who have never hit a home run. It was 1,354 at-bats, never hitting a home run. So that's, I mean, you can do the National League. He obviously had a lot more at-bats than, of course, if you were a pitcher of the American League, which would be few and far between. But it was that's an interesting little statistic. So never hit a home run. I don't know if he said never, but he had that many at bats before he ever hit one. So there's that. And this also a little little tidbit, a little put in your put in your pipe and uh, light it is uh, he recorded seven different times in his career. He had uh, pitched uh, scoreless. Uh, let's see. Let me let me get this right. Uh, seven times in his career he had pitched a scoreless uh, a nine inning scoreless game. But he had a no decision. So he was pulled out of the game after after uh, having uh, pitched nine innings without, without no one scoring on him. But he did not get the decision seven times in his career. That's also a record. So that's pretty crazy, too. Thank you. You pitched all that to not get the decision. Man, that would suck to pitch the full nine innings, have to come out, and then not get the decision. Man, that would, that would definitely indeed suck. So, you know, Don said I sent to his home address. And uh, like I said, I, I got really, I guess, lucky. I don't know, I'm very, very uh, appreciative of this. This was, again, a couple years ago. So, Mr. Don Sutton, hope you all have enjoyed the little lesson and seeing the autographs 
on the cards. And so until next time, I bid you all an adieu.